Now there was a question on the community today about uh, transitions, and uh, the question was all about uh, how to access the transition properties in Jira Automation. Now let me read the question. This question is uh, interesting, and uh, I also was thinking about uh, how we can uh, solve this problem. Now this question has been asked by Leighton Everson. And uh, Leighton is asking, I have a scenario where I want to run an automation rule based on our transition. The status doesn't change, so I am trying to access transition properties to identify the transition the user clicked. So how can I do this? Now, there are a few things here. Number one, if the status is not changing, then I believe it is, uh, it is a self-transition. And uh, l l let us say if uh, you know the transitions uh, that you have in your uh, workflow i guess you won't have too many transitions uh, you can always uh, create uh, a rule where you can uh, set up a rule to trigger something on uh, a transition and that transition can be from the same status to the same status for example if i show you one of my one of my issue in my uh, service uh, desk I believe it is an incident, but it doesn't really matter. So if you look at this workflow here, let me just wait for the wait for the issue to load completely so I can show it to you. So come on, it's a bit slow. It is cloud, so can't really expect too much. <laughs> uh, there is always some latency. So let us, let us click on the view workflow link and uh, uh, th there is a transition here. Uh, which is uh, a self-transition. Basically, from in progress, I can go to in progress, and in between, we can capture something, maybe a, maybe a screen in between, transition screen to capture some fields. So this is uh, possible that you can have a self-transition in the workflow, and uh, you can actually configure your rule to do something. Basically, you can, you, you can run automation, even for those self-transitions. And I believe when you're configuring a rule, you can always configure, I guess, uh, different... Uh, uh, may maybe a couple of rules with the different from and two statuses. Maybe I believe you can do the same thing in the same work in, in the same uh, rule. Um, but it works, and uh, I guess if your workflow is not too complicated, you can do that. And uh, there is also one more thing that I would that, that I wanted to mention. If you have, uh, uh, of course, nothing, no change in the issue. Let us say. Uh, when you click on the button, for example, when I click on this button on top uh, called investigation, nothing is going to change, but it will still do something. Um, maybe you are capturing, let us say, a comment or uh, maybe maybe you're ch changing some fields here, but the status is, of course, the same. Now, now the good thing is that there is something called as uh, change history. And using uh, change uh, history, you can actually capture the... Uh, you can actually capture the uh, information that is stored in the change history. Uh, and uh, if you try to log your change uh, log, uh, let me just show one of your, one of the, uh, let me just show you one of the um, change log that I printed. So this will basically tell you the information that changed. So, so if you look here, it says uh, field status from three, in progress to in progress. So you will be able to see what all is there in uh, your change history. And uh, the good thing is that you can do it using uh, your uh, smart values, which is uh, quite useful because uh, you, um, when you look at the issue, there is no change in the status, but uh, uh, you can still uh, check your change history for something uh, for, for something a bit more detailed and uh, that is all you can do now i'm trying to also think of a situation where you may not know i mean let us say you have multiple self transitions and i guess uh, you won't have too many self transitions in the workflow and in my opinion creating uh, an automation rule based on those self transitions uh, is uh, is not a bad idea and uh, and when I looked at this question, the question title says, how can I access transition properties? So I thought uh, Lytton is asking about uh, those uh, 
properties, the workflow properties. I don't really think you can access it using the automation rule. But if your question is all about uh, self transitions, then uh, you can you can do some automation. And that is what I wanted to show you today. So that is all I wanted to share and uh, share and uh, demonstrate in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much.